Okay, so I've created a workspace. Within that workspace, I've created an app called One Short Test. And within that, I created a new item called My Test Item. And then I left a comment called I'll Leave a Comment. So this is a very simple app in Podio, um, very generic, right? It's, it's designed just to show you how I can access this information via the API. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to use IPython to interactively work with the Podio API using Python. So I need to have some information. I need my client ID, my client secret, my username, and password. So I'm getting these from environment variables. So um, now I have my client ID that you can see here. I printed that. Um, well, actually, so I can have I have my client ID here as well as my secret, my username, and my password. And I'm going to go ahead and use that to connect to Podio. And so the first step is I'm going to import my Podio project. Now, there doesn't appear to be a pip package for this, but you can download the PyPodio2 library from GitHub. And then you just connect using OAuth. So OAuth2, um, you call API.OAuthClient, pass in your client ID, your secret, your username, and password. And now you can see I have an object. It is a PyPodio2 client object that exists. Um, and I've successfully connected. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my workspace. Now the way I can get this information is within my workspace, within my app, or within my item, I can do that. I'm just going to go to actions on this particular specific item, and you can see it has my workspace ID, my app ID, and my item ID. So taking the workspace ID, I'm going to go podio dot uh, space capital S, find, and then put my workspace ID. Calling that, you can see I get a JSON response that contains all the data. Um, so I can get like uh, my workspace, uh, what is it, uh, label, URL label. So once I have that, I will save this to a variable called workspace. And let's check my documentation. Okay, I want to get the name of my workspace. So I do workspace.get name. The name of my workspace is one short test, and you can see that here. Okay, um, going back, next thing what I want to do is instead of getting the name, I want to get um, who it's created by. And here this again returns a subset of the JSON. Um, the interesting thing we want to see is it's created by Aaron Evans. You can see it was last seen on 2.11 uh, today. And some other information. So that's what you can do for your workspace. You can do also the same sort of thing. I can do podio.app. Let me check my documentation here. Uh, podio.application.find. So I'll paste that in here. Um, and get that. So now I have an app. And you can see I have the JSON. Uh, all the things here. The UR label is test app. We look at this here. Um, and it's not on the screen here, but take my word for it. It's called test app. We can go back here to my workspace, one short test. And we can see I have test app here. And then last thing I have is my test item. I can get from here, I can go to developer. And I can get the app ID 25803866. Um, and you can see I can actually go back. And when I go to my test item and I go to actions developer info, it's that same app ID number 25803866, which is what I called here in my code application.find. 25803866. Your application ID will be different for every application. Same thing, your workspace ID and your item IDs. So we can see here we've got a label for this. We've got some fields. Um, so there are multiple fields in this, and we want to see what the fields are in this app. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, so we're looking at the app. We're looking at items within this app, right? Each item has a title, 
in this case it's my test item it has a description this is a description of if my test item oops that should have been of and it has a category I created so this is like the status it's new it's open it's rejected or accepted it's completed or it's blocked um, and then it can have files and tasks associated with as well what I want to do is I want to look at all the fields that are available for this so again going back to Python uh, I want to do app.get fields and you can see it return this and I can actually find out the length of this there should be three the title the description and the category uh, and there we go and if we look here a little closer the field label is title the field label is description the type is text and then lastly the the field type is category the label is category as well and under category we can see we have different statuses right open rejected accepted completed and blocked and so that matches up with what we're seeing in our user interface here in Podio alright so we've looked at our workspace we've looked at our application now what I want to see is I want to see uh, this specific item my test item um, again I go to actions developer info I'm going to find this one unique item my test item uh, by the item ID inside uh, Python again I would do podio dot uh, item is it item or items we'll find out okay it's item so podio item find we found this one item and we can see uh, the app name is test app for that here um, there's the unique ID that I found it, the reference ID. There's also the user ID, that's myself, my user ID. And there's this unique signature for getting it um, more complex. You can see here, here's the URL. If I want to go to the web page and create a new item, um, um, same thing, I can look at my app here. Now, what I want to do is I want to see the comments. I want to get the value of an individual comment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back in Python, I'm going to see if I can get I'll leave a comment. So uh, I've got item. Oops, uh, I didn't get item. I didn't save it as a variable. So what I want to do is I want to do item equals podio dot item dot find and then that unique item ID. When I go through that, now I have my item. It's still with the JSON, but now I can do item dot get uh, comments. And what I want to do is I want to get the first comment. And what is it that I want to get? I want to um, I want to get the first comment and then just get the value of the first comment. Okay. So comments zero. The first comment starts with zero, zero, one, two, three. That's just the way they do it in Python and a bunch of different programming languages. It's a zero index based. Uh, and then value is the 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 word I'm looking for. The label of the field is called the value of the comment. And the message is, I'll leave a comment, which going back to our UI, checks out. So that's how you're able to use the Podio um, API, the application programming interface, to interact with Podio. You can also add new items or delete them, update existing items. Uh, same thing with applications. So for instance, I can, um, Podio dot uh, item. Let's just go back here. Podio item. Uh, instead of finding that item, I can see the different options. Now I can create a new item. I can find an item, or I can update an item. And there's some other options. I'm not going to go through that now. This was just a quick walkthrough showing you how you can inspect via the Podio API um, existing workspaces, applications, and items. Um, we'll save for later the opportunity to be able to update or create new items uh, through the API. That's all for today.